Welcome. I initially bought this van to keep completely empty for my company, but then a few months in, my girlfriend and I were using it to live in while we were looking for houses. So I wanted to build a bed that was easily removable so that I could make it completely empty in the van again, but I also wanted it to be easily put back into a bed. So I did my own build and I wanted to share that with you guys. Here are the tools you're going to need for this project. Here's the hardware you're gonna need and the wood and materials you're gonna need. Cut your two by six by 10 piece of wood into two pieces of 59 and a half inches long. Now I'm not gonna disassemble this because it's a pain in the butt to put on. You'll notice that vans are already equipped with holes ready for projects like this. I've got four of the three eighths by two inch carriage bolts into the wood. Um, of course, with the three eighths lock nut and washer in the back. The hardest part is getting the ratchet in here while you're putting the carriage bolt in, but you'll figure it out, I promise. Four carriage bolts on this side, four carriage bolts on this side. Now it's time to attach the E-track to the wood. You'll notice I use self-tapping screws and my pattern was every other just for support. I didn't want to do too much because there's not a lot of room in the wood and I didn't want to split it anywhere. On the sides, I did two. In the middle, I did two. And in the sides, again, I did two. Now that the E-track is attached to the wood, you can take the sockets and attach them to the E-track. To attach them, just pull this lever, go up and in. For my build, I have a socket on the first slot, two, three, four, five, six, seventh slot, 13th slot, 19th slot, 25th slot, and the last one, which is a 30th slot. Of course, everything that you're doing on this side, you're going to mirror onto this side. Now it's time to cut the two by fours to make support beams for your bed. Like I mentioned in the beginning of the video, you're gonna to need to buy three two by four by 12s and then you're going to cut them about in half. You're gonna to wanna to measure from socket to socket and every van is probably a little bit different. So make sure that you measure exactly what your cut needs to be. For example, my A to A beam is about 68 and three quarters long, but my F to F beam is under 68 and a half inches long. Now that there's six total beams, I'm gonna show you the last step. You're gonna notice that one of these pieces of plywood is bigger than the other. The reason for that is because there's six total beams and there's not exactly one that sits in the middle. So it's gonna be a little off center. Basically, you're gonna have a beam on each side. And then of course, you're gonna have the second beam, third beam, fourth beam, which is where both of those are gonna lay on, fifth beam, and sixth beam. Where these two boards meet, there's going to be a beam for both of them to rest on. Unfortunately, the bed dimensions are very awkward, so I was forced to buy two very large sheets of plywood and then cut them into specific sizes, which are these. The total length of each piece of plywood are the same. It's about 68.8 inches long. The total width of the small piece of plywood is just under 24 and a half inches. The total width of the big piece of plywood is about 34.6 inches. Once your plywood is cut, you're going to use self-tapping screws. I only did three, one at the top, one in the middle, and then one at the bottom. The small piece of plywood is going to be attached into beam A, and the big piece of plywood is going to be attached into beam F. Now let's recap on everything that we should have. You should have four carriage bolts attaching the piece of wood into the van, a E-track onto the piece of wood, and six sockets for the E-track on each side of the van. You should have four two by fours cut out ready to go from socket to socket. And you should have a small piece of plywood attached to a two by four and a big piece of plywood attached to a two by four. We've made it to my favorite part, putting the build together. I'm going to start with the four middle beams, which are B, C, D, E. Let's grab B. I'm gonna put it on socket B to socket B. Now we're going to do the same with the rest. Now here's the heavy lifting part. We're going to do beam F first, which is attached to our big piece of plywood. Last but not least, our A beam attached to the small piece of plywood. And now you're all set. You've got your floating bed frame on the van, so you have space below you and you can sleep up top. I'm six foot one and I could sleep pretty comfortably in here. 
This is what it looks like underneath. Final steps are to blow up the air mattress or you can throw on a regular mattress. If you're planning on buying a mattress for your bed, these are the exact dimensions that you're going to need. The only thing left to do is blow up our air mattress and go to bed. I hope this DIY van build was able to help you. If you're not looking for something super fancy, but you also want something good, this is a perfect build for your van. I hope you were able to find some value in this video. Thank you for watching. Subscribe for more.